Good morning guys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about a species very similar to another one that we've covered uh, in the past. We're going to be talking about something called a red fingers. Now the red fingers is one of the finger fins and if you look back at some of our older videos there's one on a two-tone finger fin. We'll have the link in the description. Go watch that one. This fish is very very similar to that. It's just the colorations that are, are different. Now it's the same genus Chylodactylus and the red fingers Chylodactylus fasciatus as opposed to the two-tone. Remember like subscribe and click the bell icon just gets you any new videos we do are going to pop up in your feed just allows you to keep keep up to date with anything and uh, keep on top of all of it. Now the red fingers will be more common to our guys down south you get them they are endemic from as far as I remember the about the Kunene River up to southern KZN um, but you're really more in the colder waters down Eastern Cape that, that side than, than up here but we do get them here. Overall shape he has got a sort of a, it's quite a, quite a tricky one to explain. It's kind of a bream shape but more flattened from the top and bottom. Um, he's got a rubbery, rubbery type lips. Um, he's got the bars on him that go down as opposed to the two turns. He's got the two, two colors. And he's got extensions on his pec fins that look like little fingers. And they are red in color. So that's where he gets his name, Red Fingers. So he sits with those on the bottom. You can actually feel a little bit of them, almost like a gurnard. But he mainly sits on the rocky substrata and just sort of parks there and waits for something to come past that he can eat. Now they've got a fairly small mouth, they're mainly feeding on worms and small crustaceans. Like I mentioned you're getting them in more rocky areas from your tidal pools down to about 20-25 meters in depth. So anywhere there where you're going to get a lot of rocks and a little um, area where you can hide in a lot. That, that barring that he's got makes him hide very 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 nicely in there. Um, before we go on, for the guys that are regular to Kingfisher itself, we've got a new fish in here. He's hiding at the moment. We've got a tank goby that's in the tank. His name is Frank the Tank. So when you see him, wave hi to Frank the Tank. Um, yeah, as mentioned, red fingers down really more in the colder waters. Uh, red tips in his fingers. If you're going to be targeting them, they're not. They don't really get big enough. They get to about 30 centimeters. So it's not really one that you're going to be be targeting actively because they're not very strong fighters. They they really more of a bycatch than anything else when targeting other species. But you're yeah, using worms, obviously not in case they're in. Um, small bits of sardine, little bits of squid, things like that. Smallish hooks, uh, probably about number four thereabouts. And yeah, that's about it on the red fingers. It's just one of those species that we get asked about um, quite a bit in species identification. So. If you want to know, check the pictures and yeah, that's the red fingers. Cheers.